Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God and today I'm coming on to give you a warning about the New Madrid fault zone. There's been reports of earthquake activity recently on May 16th, 2024. I came across this video last evening from Mary Greeley News YouTube channel. It's entitled Moderate New Madrid Earthquakes, M3.8, Lots of Popping, Ridgely, Tennessee. And I also have three other prophetic words. One from January 19th, 2024. Another one from April 10th, 2023. And one from May 11th, 2022 that I believe are being confirmed through this earthquake activity as well as our warning messages and this could be leading up to a major earthquake so I wanted to come on here and warn everyone so here is the information that was given on Mary Greeley news a magnitude 3.8 that USGS said I got a 3.9. There was actually three quakes um, back to back in this location. People that sent in felt reports to USGS said it was an intensity level six, which means it was felt by all. Many were frightened. Some may have run outside. Uh, falling plaster chimneys. There would have been light damage. If you had damage there, what kind of damage did you have? Let me know. Um, 237 people said they felt it. Now, again, USGS said it was a 3.8. I got a 3.9. Um, we do have, what do we got here? Cottonwood Point Duck Club. Cottonwood Grove. So it is a spar sparsely populated area for the New Madrid. Um... But yet, they had a lot of reports sent into USGS. No one sent in reports to EMSC. So for the last 24 hours, we have three earthquakes in this location. We got the 3.8, which was 4.5 miles in depth, followed by a 1.6, which was 3.5 miles in depth, and then a 2.0. 3.6 miles in depth. Using the stream view, here is the signature of the first earthquake. And I'll bring it over and you can see there was, oh, went off the line. A quick popping there and then another one. I come up with a magnitude 3.9. Um, what they did was they added them all together and it really rattled for quite a while. Look at that. Yeah. Lots of rattling. Now, this earthquake was at 319 um, a.m. local time. There was another one before that at 705, but they're not reporting it. That one comes in as a magnitude 1.81. It is marked in red, so the computer did pick it up. You can see it right there. Um, they are reporting this small quake at, um, 835 afterwards. That would be at universal time. So that would be at, um, 3, uh, 35, 36 a.m. local time. They're saying it's a magnitude 1.6, but I don't get that. I get a magnitude 1.1. Let's look at the seismic signature. Yeah. Unless they end, let's do this. We'll put it there and then we'll end it there. Then I get a 1.42. Now, this one right here, they are reporting um, at 8, oh, let's see, 836 Universal Time. So that would be 336 a.m. Uh, they're saying that it's a magnitude 
1.6, but I get a magnitude 1.52. I'll go to the signature. Um, you can see here where it kind of settled down a little bit. And there's the, uh, yeah, this is all fault movement. Yeah. The next one they are reporting is at oh, two or 3.41 a.m. I get a magnitude 2.02. And that is probably about the same what USGS is saying, a 2.0. Um, they just left off the uh, other little point. The next one I see, but they're not reporting it, at uh, 5.32 a.m. local time, that comes in as a magnitude 1.34. But it's probably a slow-moving tremor. Let me show you that. See that? And it continued for a little bit. And then we had some more popping. And some more. And then we got more popping right there. None of this, as you could see a minute ago, is being reported. Let's see, we got two small ones right there. Well, that, that could be um, a blast or a um, possible landslide. Um, and then we got another one there, slow moving tremor. But the this next video talks about a landslide, which is from the prophetic word given on April 10th, 2023. Next earthquake that I see would probably be this one right here. Okay, we'll go to the spectrogram not being reported that would have been at um, 9 14 a.m it's currently almost 11 o'clock there and that one comes in as a magnitude 1.44 then we got another one that's a little bit bigger right there is anyone doing any uh, waste disposal water you know of the water there um, this comes in as a magnitude 1.78, and the reason I ask it, yeah, it's got an interesting signature. Could be from fracking, waste disposal, maybe someone's drilling a well, I don't know. Fracking, waste disposal, I believe that's mentioned also in one of my videos. Then we got another, oh, it's not going to let me see it, is it? No. Um, anyways, yeah, we got one there, another one there, another one there, and another one. A couple of smaller earthquakes, but the program's not going to work for me. So let's, we got a lot of really small ones marked in red here. Let me see if I can, there you go. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them. Okay, we got another one, look at that. Huh, now that's interesting. Whatever created that popping actually got so loud um, that the monitor couldn't pick it up. Hmm. As you know, the New Madrid fault system is an ancient rift. And, yeah, it, it, there is volcanism. Yeah. Um, let's go right. Look at that. Yeah, look at that interesting a lot of popping going on before this 4.0 this normally only happens for volcanic um, screaming when the uh, volcano is releasing magma and all of a sudden it starts the screaming and it gets so loud you can't or the machinery I should say the monitors are not able to pick up the signature interesting yeah that's the first time i've seen that here in this location of new madrid um let's see it was probably going on between here i got the right spot no okay right there um 309 universal so that would been have been uh 10 9 p.m last night and it continued until we got the popping here of that one earthquake 
at about 2.05 a.m. Oh, we do have another one right there, I think. Or is that above it? No, right. Where is it? Okay, that's before. Okay. Until then, we have the magnitude 4.0. Interesting. Yeah, so that lasted, oh, probably about six hours. Yeah, you can see all the, let me pull this over. All this over here. Yeah, look at all that. I'll just pull it over. Now that was at 324 Universal, which is about 10 p.m., 10, 1024 where I'm showing you now. Last night, look at all that. I'll just keep pulling it over. Yeah, what was going on last night there? I don't see anything about severe weather. Um, very well could have been. Um, were you having bad weather last night? I would like to know. Yeah, this is this is really interesting. Yeah. These earthquakes were felt over a very large area. Uh, let's see. According to the local news, it was felt as Carbondale, Illinois. Let's see. Well, we got we got St. Louis. Uh, two responses from there. Intensity level two. Um, another two. Another two. Let me zoom in up over here. Yeah, Scott Air Force Base. Wow. Um, were there drills going on last night? Was they practicing? Okay, let's go back down over here. Um, Murray, intensity level six. Um, Wrigley, intensity level five. Hornbeck, intensity level five. Down over here, we got Oakland, intensity level five. Um, looks like the farthest report that was sent into USGS was Ripley. Intensity level two. Let me double check here. Yeah. Oh, we got one over here. Okay. Um, Covington. Intensity level two. You know, this area does have a lot of settlement and fill. Since the uh, New Madrid fault zone was trying to split apart, divide up the country. Um, so earthquakes would travel over a large area. Yeah, and this one definitely did, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we've had um, five X flares in the last three days. And I've talked about how these X flares can create weather, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes. Now, here's the most recent prophetic message that I received back on January 19th. 2024 it was posted on january 20th it is entitled may only have few weeks more before land gives away especially along new madrid fault line and i believe in this message it talks about the landslides now for the message Received from the Lord God on January 19th, 2024. A landslide, a landslide, it is coming. The earth is moving quickly. Rocks are tumbling down the hillside onto the ground, onto the pavement of highways below it. A landslide of great proportion. It will be happening. Beneath the earth's surface are fissures. Empty cavities are weakening the land's integrity. It has a composition of shifting sand. The day is at hand, my beloved daughter. Warn my children. Take, tell them to investigate the tectonic plate locations by where they reside. The land is moving. It is unstable. It is beginning to give away deep down underground. After they have found where they lived, live is destabilized 
tell them they may only have a few weeks more before the land gives away, especially after these earthquakes along the new Madrid fault line. Be mine today, my beloved children. I look after the one sheep who's gone astray. Pray to be deemed worthy to come with me into my kingdom of heaven on New Jerusalem. All it takes is one catastrophe and then your life could be in jeopardy. If you die from the aftermath of an earthquake, where will your soul go? This next video is from a prophetic word that I received on April 10th, 2023. And it mentions ready to blow, which I believe is in reference to volcanic activity with regards to the new Madrid fault line. And so I want to play that for you. And then there will be one more video of a prophetic word that I received back on May 11th, 2022. So this activity has been going on for quite some time now. So please take heed and pay attention to the ground around you and inspect it and be ready when your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ comes for his bride. Like now for the message received from the Lord God on April the 10th, 2023. A shaking, a quaking. There will be no mistaking the movement of the earth from underground. Quality assurance people will inspect the site and will be afraid as to their determinations of the underground situation. A nation separating in both land mass and political affiliation. A nation so far apart now, nothing will bring them back together again. Some say Trump will lead them, yet others want him in prison. Mass shootings daily, a country coming apart at the seams. Your young men will dream dreams and your old men will see visions. Such derision of others with opposing viewpoints. No one will work together. What is the point of it when many are just in it for themselves? Politicians taking kickbacks. The country is falling apart quite literally. No one has a compassionate heart or empathy. It's all about me, me, me. All three me's in capital letters for emphasis. That's not the way of a functioning democratic society. It's all falling apart now, and with the earthquakes happening in places never before seen, many will awaken and come back to me, your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The nation of America is about to become shaken apart and pulled apart right down the middle. New Madrid is the fault line to watch now. It's separating in spots now. The land, that is. It's cracking and quaking at low-level tremors. But a big one is about to happen. It's ready to blow. Look below onto the ground and see for yourselves around the Mississippi Basin. The ground is emaciating and the water level is low. Look early in the morning and late in the evening when no one is around. Take a flashlight 
and inspect it for yourselves. Don't reject this message as rumor and innuendo. Check it out. Right down the center of the USA, it is separating. It is pulling away. If you live in the area, pray and ask me today, what should I do? Should I stay? Should I move? Do it now, my beloveds, for time is slipping away. Before the earthquake splits the country in two, quite literally, exclamation point. This is your warning. You heard it from me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Be ready, for I will come quickly. Birth pangs are beginning now and will only grow stronger and closer together in quick succession until my return for the first fruits of the harvest. <laughs> Learn of me today, lost sheep. Do it now without delay or you will be left behind. With everlasting love, Jesus, <clears throat> excuse me, your blessed hope and holy redeemer of God. This last prophetic word that I will be showing here was taken from May 11th, 2022. And this video was posted on May 12th, 2022. I'll show you right there. And it is entitled, Stay Vigilant, Watchful for Shifting Land, Rivers, Platte, and Mississippi, Ground, Shake, and Quiver, Move Away. Now, this one also had a vision at the end, and it will explain itself to you at the end of this message, as well as I did want to point out in that first video as well as the news report for Mary Greeley News, there was a mentioning of air pockets underneath the ground or what could be known as fracking. And I believe that that was mentioned also in the prophetic word. You can rewind it back and hear it for yourself, as well as the volcanic activity that took place back when the new Madrid fault line first erupted back in, I believe it was 1811 and 1812. So here is the last prophetic message from May 11th, 2022. Message given from the Lord God on May the 11th, 2022 <clears throat> my daughter write these words for they are faithful and true seismic activity is about to pick up along the new madrid fault line signs in the earth are beginning to show large crevices and cracks along the platte river basin running from Nebraska eastward into Missouri. Do not worry, my beloved. For fear not, for fear is of the enemy. Be aware of these earth changes. People living in these areas take note and move to much more stable ground away from the New Madrid fault area. The ground is weakened there due to drastic changes in weather patterns with much fluctuation between extreme hot and cold weather patterns. These tremors are beginning to be felt in the New Madrid region. Take notice and take cover for a major earthquake will cause much damage to the area around the Platte River Basin from eastern Nebraska to western Missouri, even closer to the Mississippi River Valley. Be ready, my beloveds. If you live in these areas, 
Stay vigilant and watchful for shifting land around these rivers, the Platte and the Mississippi. The ground will shake and quiver and as it does initially, move away from the New Madrid fault line. You will have a period of a few days time until a major earthquake will erupt. Hurry up, pack your bags and flee a few hundred miles away from the epicenter of the New Madrid fault zone. Do not cry and do not moan, for this is your warning. You are not alone, for your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will be with you. Stay calm and remember I said to stay vigilant and notice the ground cracking. This is your warning! Exclamation point. Repent and pray to be deemed worthy to enter into the kingdom. Get on your knees, get on your faces, and believe on me wholeheartedly. My sacrifice is sufficient to save thee. With undying love, Jesus of Nazareth. So this is a warning message for those people living around the New Madrid fault line, seismic zone, that there's going to be a major earthquake. And right before I receive this message, I am usually in deep prayer and I usually ask the Lord if he has any visions or messages for me or anyone else. And I saw the word PLAT in all capital letters, P-L-A-T-T-E, PLAT. And I never heard of it before, so I had to research it. And then I got the message. And it's a warning message, and I believe it can be deadly. And it says here that the seismic activity is about to pick up along the new Madrid fault line. What are the warning signs that a volcano is about to erupt? We're going to blow. According to USGS.gov, noticeable steaming or fumarolic activity in new or enlarged areas of hot ground, subtle swelling of the ground surface, small changes in heat flow, 